Hey, in this video we'll cover some essential hotkeys, settings and setup that will help you play much better in StarCraft 2. Let's start with the basic in-game settings. You need to click on the graphics tab and set everything to medium quality, but keep the shaders and shadows on high or ultra. This is done to maximize the FPS in the game, as well as remove any non-essential effects that may distract you. Too much detail also makes your eyes tired faster. As for shadows, it's necessary to spot banshees, Dark Templars and Observers, and with such settings it's easier to accomplish. On the Sound tab, you don't really need any specific settings, but make sure to turn off any ambient sounds that might distract you, as well as music, or at least make it somewhat quiet. On the Mouse tab, turn off mouse wheel zoom as it's unnecessary, but keep reduce mouse lag. Additionally, if you have a gamer mouse, you should probably have a specified application where you can set your preferred setting. It's much better to do that there than actually in-game. So disable in-game mouse sensitivity and do the work in your mouse brand's app. For me, it's still serious, for example. As for general mouse settings, I believe it's good to have a fast speed overall, including scroll settings. It allows you to move your camera quickly without applying too much effort in real life on your mouse pad, and I personally find such settings to be good for extra APM boost. But it's up to you though, but so you can try different setups, including the fast one. On the gameplay tab, make sure to check all the boxes that I have here. Those just make gaming experience easier and I won't go into details since, well, I just don't want to waste much of your time. As for control groups, I strongly suggest them to be unassignable or unclickable, because sometimes you can accidentally click on those icons and reassign something in a wrong way and we certainly don't want to make extra mistakes on top of other things in this game. Color tab doesn't matter as much, but studies show that human eyes react best to green and red lights, so I suggest you set a fixed color for your and enemy forces so that you don't get confused with color switches between matches. Other tabs are not interesting for us, so let's get to the hotkeys. There are two crucial things that you must have to be twice as efficient. The first thing is camera hotkeys. They allow you to quickly move between camera locations that you create and lock in your match. For me, it's at least four bases and it allows me to quickly shift my focus from base to base, doing injections and saving just a ton of time. You need to have at least three and with time and practice you'll be able to utilize four, five or even six to facilitate your gameplay. The last thing you need is rapid fire. You can access that in the unit management tab, the specific line is called choose ability or AI target. This thing is used for fast Revengers bios or ghost snapshots and some other things, and it could be extremely useful in many situations. So this is how it looks with no rapid fire, and this is with rapid fire. With rapid fire, you just press and hold one key and move your mouse around the targets without clicking it. And without rapid fire, you have to manually press and click both your mouse and keys, which takes much more effort. You can clearly see how fast you can execute an attack with this setting. However, in game you can only set one additional hotkey for rapid fire, but we need that not only for bios but also for our queens, transfusions, creep and all other stuff. To fix that issue, you go to your documents, Starcraft 2, accounts, then your accounts numbers and then your hotkeys. You'll see a file with your hotkeys set up. Open it in a wordpad or other app that can read such files and find the line which says target choose. Then add every hotkey with a comma, just like you can see now on my screen. This is it for the basic settings that you absolutely need. And now let's get to the advanced section. You probably know that each keyboard and Windows settings have an input delay, which means that after you press a key, there is a short period of time until it appears on the screen, for example when you type or when it performs an action in the game. And you can change these settings as well, minimizing the input delay between your clicks and in-game results. To do this, you need two things. First of all, open your Windows search bar and type keyboard into it. You'll see something like this, and you need to set repeat delay shorter and repeat rate faster. This will allow you to minimize the delay and speed up the process quite a bit. However, Windows still has a restriction here, and to increase the performance even further, you need to access the register. Doing it manually is difficult, so instead you can use a separate app, and there are a few of them, but I personally use filter keys. Here you can set even faster settings, but make sure not to make them too fast, as that will result in double actions and you won't even be able to type text on your PC, and this will also cause a lot of mistakes in your gameplay. 
You can turn it on only for StarCraft 2, so it's very convenient, and you should probably experiment with the settings and find something comfortable for you. That's it for today. If this guide was helpful, make sure to leave a like and share this video with your friends. Have a nice day, and see you next time.